oh my god guys i guarantee you that ai web design will definitely be the future and it's so awesome so let's go Okay, so let's get you started. The link in the description points to the Midjourney website. Click on the beta link and that's going to redirect you to a Discord channel where you will be able to start creating your prompts and generating your AI images. So here is how you create a prompt. You start by writing slash imagine, which is the inbuilt command inside the Discord server. It allows you to provide the AI with information to generate your image. The more specific you are, the better. Then you can also follow the information you provided with some commands that take effect on the way your final image looks. Let me just mention some brief commands that I've used that work really well for generating the style and quality of images you see right now. I'll link in the description a guide to all of the prompts that you can actually enter and get very sexy images. There is five main commands that are most relevant. Dash dash AR, which is specifying what aspect ratio you want to work with. Dash dash Q, which is the quality and details you want to add to the image. This number can be from one to four, one being the default and four being a large amount of quality and detail. Dash dash no, which allows you to do negative prompting. Dash dash chaos, which is how much varied and random the result of the image should be. And finally, dash dash V, which is what version of the algorithm you want to use. With each image generation, you will get four propositions, which you can then upscale, or in other words, make bigger and more detailed, or produce variations of that specific image. These actions is what you will get once an image is generated. Once you upscale an image, you can also generate a beta upscale redo, which really adds detail and generates a high resolution image. So without any more waiting, you've got the tutorial, you know what to do. Now let's see as an example of what prompts I provided and what kind of images I got back as a result. In general, all of these were really quite impressive, especially that my prompts weren't super long and detailed. This might not be suitable right off the bat, but they definitely serve as a great inspiration in respect to the possible layouts, color schemes that you could use, and user experience that you could build. These don't just have to be prompts that build a UI UX landing page. You could use AI for generating images that match the category you're trying to convey on your website. Wow. Wow, that is actually insane. I love that one. That is definitely my favorite one of today. And I think that is the one I'm going to use uh, for my design. Now, I think it would also be really cool to maybe generate and ask uh, Mid Journey to generate a logo uh, that's based on my logo. So based on the letters D and F, developer Philip. Uh, so let's put that into the Mid Journey algorithm and see what images we get. Nice, nice. Okay, this looks fairly good. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, I like that one. Now that we have the image and we have the logo, let's really quickly play around with it in Photoshop, put it into Figma, create a simple design and see what the outcome is going to be. Okay, and what do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you think it's good? For a couple of minutes, I think it's really good. And I don't think I would be ever able to even think of something like that. Even though my mind is creative, I think AI really does the job for us. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash up the thumbs button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and go, go, go and play around with Mid Journey. And I'll see you in the next video. 